Let's walk through our ABO blood groups. So here in front of you, I have four different red blood cells and they each belong to a different blood group or blood type. We're gonna start with this one. So here's a red blood cell and you can see on the surface of that red blood cell, we have these little blue structures. These are antigens. And you can see the antigen, if you look really close, has a letter A on it. So this is the A antigen on the surface of this red blood cell. So we would say that this is type A blood. Okay, and again, it's given the name because of the antigen on the surface. This one in yellow, you can see now this red blood cell has these little yellow antigens. And again, if you look closely, you can see they have the letter B. So this is type B blood. Again, it's given the name B because of the antigen on the surface of the red blood cell. Now this red blood cell looks a little different. If you'll notice, it has both the blue A antigen and the yellow B antigen on its surface of that red blood cell. So this blood type is type AB blood type. Now let's talk about this one. So notice this red blood cell has no antigens on the surface. It does not have an A antigen. It does not have a B antigen. This would be blood type O. O just stands for a lack of antigen. So we don't have an O antigen. O just means the absence of the A or B antigen. So again, if we look at our four different types of blood that we can see here, notice there's only two possible antigens, an A antigen and a B antigen. Okay, so this would be type A blood containing only the A antigen, type B blood containing only the B antigen, AB blood containing both antigens, and type O containing no antigens. Now let's combine this with antibodies. Antibodies are structures that are found in the blood plasma. So these are not structures that are bound to that plasma membrane. Instead, they're found in blood plasma. And just like we only have an A or a B antigen, we also only have an A or a B antibody. So we're gonna do this one at a time again. So if we have type A blood, okay, that has an A antigen on the surface, we would never have a matching antibody in the plasma. Because this A antibody, the job of an antibody is to bind to the antigen and remove that cell from circulation. So if you actually have type A blood, if you had A antibodies, you would fight your own blood type. So we don't wanna do that. So someone who has type A blood will only ever have the B antibody in their plasma. This B antibody will just float around in the plasma and it will never attach to any of your own blood cells. The only type this B and the only time this B antibody would ever be activated is if you were given a transfusion of blood that does not match your blood. So for example, if you were given type B blood on accident and you're type A, your B antibodies will bind to the B antigen and pull that blood out of circulation. Okay, what if you were given type AB blood? It, it matches, you have an A antigen. Problem is it also has the B antigen. And this B antibody that you have in your plasma will attach and pull that foreign cell out of circulation. Now let's do it one more time with type O blood. So let's say you are type A and you are given type O blood, will this B antibody that's in your plasma have anything to bind to? No, 
There are no B antigens. There are no antigens at all on typo blood. So this is why typo is considered the universal donor. We can give typo to anybody because it has no antigens on the surface and those antibodies won't bind and try to remove it from circulation. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. We're just gonna do it with the other blood types. So this time, let's do it with type B blood. Okay, so again, it's type B because it has B antigens on the surface. And here's our two different antibodies. Now remember, someone who has type B blood would never have B antibodies in their plasma because those antibodies would bind to their own cells and pull them out of circulation. So someone who is type B would have type A antibodies. These antibodies will float around causing no problems unless that patient is administered a blood type that does not match their own, okay? So if someone has type B blood and they are given a transfusion of type A, those A antibodies will bind and pull that foreign blood out of circulation. If someone has type B blood and they are given AB blood, those antibodies for A will recognize the A antigen on AB and again, pull it out of circulation. But if someone has type B and they're given type O blood, those antibodies have nothing to bind to. So again, just like the example that I gave you with type A blood, someone who has type B can take type B or they can take O, okay? Because those A antibodies cannot bind to type B and they cannot bind if there are no antigens present. Now let's do this blood type. So this is blood type AB. Someone who has blood type AB, if they had antibodies for A in their plasma, those antibodies could bind and pull that blood out of circulation. So they would never have type A antibodies. If someone who is AB had B antibodies in their plasma, those antibodies could bind to their own blood and again, pull it out of circulation. So someone who has type AB blood has no antibodies. They cannot have the A or B antibody in their plasma because it will fight their own blood type. So someone who is AB, if they're given a transfusion of type A, remember there's no antibodies. So that blood is fine. It won't be fought. If someone is AB and they're given B blood, that's fine. There's no antibodies to fight it off. If someone is AB and they're given O blood, again, that's fine. There's no antibodies. So someone who is AB, they are considered the universal recipient. They can take any blood type. Now our last one is someone who is blood type O. And if we look at type O, remember we get the name O in the absence of antigens. There's no antigens on the surface of this blood cell. Okay, so now let's talk about antibodies in the plasma. Someone who is type O could certainly have the A antibody in their plasma because it has nothing to bind to on those cells. Okay, so the A antibody is present. And someone who's type O also would have the B antibody present in their plasma because, again, there's no antigens on this cell for that to bind to. So someone who is type O has no antigens, but they have both antibodies in their plasma. So that means if someone with type O is transfused and given type A blood, those A antibodies will bind and pull it out of circulation. If someone who is type O is given type B blood, those B antibodies will bind and pull it out of circulation. If someone who is type O is given AB blood, both the A and the B antibodies will bind 
and pull it out of circulation. So someone who is type O, they are the universal donor. They can give this blood to anybody else, but they can only accept type O blood because they contain both the A and B antibody in their blood plasma.